Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am using the oh the hell I don't want. Okay, I'm using this uh tier list app to make a tier list for Metopia. So um yeah let's start off. I'm just saying this is most like a first impression because um, just kind of like a, yeah, like a first impression because I didn't really get to like fully play with every character, see all their horse, um, their special horse abilities and stuff like that. So this is kind of like a first impression. What I think about them, their main attack, just kind of some stuff like that. So yeah, okay. So first up, we got Warrior. Tried Warrior for a while. Um, oh, what the heck? How do I? Okay. Uh, what the heck? Okay, um, oh, that's why. Okay, so warrior, I would put at. I think good to me because warrior, it's a really you know it's a good uh, starter class just because, um, I would say at first, um, you know just like it, it deals good with like the single enemies because like in um, Metopia. At first, it's just kind of like mostly kind of enemies, but like there's never too many enemies. Only really in the first cave, where like there's banshees and apple jellies. That's when you have to worry. But like, like for example, if it was um, a team of warriors uh, versus the apple jellies, you know that could be hard. But um, like the abilities though on the warrior are pretty good because there's a jump slash, which is a really good uh, first one. It, it did like really good damage. Like, you know, in the game, um, like, for in the demo when I played, for example, um, the jump slash was really good to do, like, big damage to, like, um, the imps for, uh, not the imps, what am I saying? The, uh, was it the imps? Not, not the fiends. The, those are, like, way later. The, the, the first battle where you go to that little castle. Basically, um, to fight those, for example, it did really good damage because I was struggling with that. And, uh, yeah. So I hope that I look good. Mage. I would say good too. Because I didn't play too much with the mage. But from what I saw with it and like what my AI teammates were using with my, with the mage, I would say it was pretty good because I was just playing and I was watching um like my AI just fight because a lot of my teammates just went sick all of a sudden. So I just uh, made a team of just AI. So um, I watched them, and then the mage got Giga Cure. So it's like, what? Because the mage gets like some really good attacks. Like it gets attacks that do a lot of damage on a single enemy, a lot of damage on all the enemies, damage on every enemy. A cure, Giga Cure. It, it's I would say the mage has some really good ones. Of course, you do need MP sprinkles, for example. MP sprinkles is something you do need. But for me, I grinded a lot in the demo, so later on, MP sprinkles and stuff weren't even a worry. I mean, end game, like later on in the game, they it could get a tiny bit hard sometimes, but still, MP sprinkles, like I wouldn't, it's ri like rarely I would run, like, run out. Maybe in, um, I feel like the way the place, like the Neon City or whatever that place, maybe like, that place for like the Dark Sun. So yeah, um, cleric oh no i'm so stupid the cleric was the one who had like a giga cure the mage oh my god the mage is still really good though cleric to me not bad it's just kind of like my personal opinion where in games i just don't really like the healing type i mean i like the healing type but the problem is like in metopia like for people who grinded the demo they'll understand like you don't really need a healer that much like in most of the game later on in the game okay yeah sometimes you need a healer but the thing is with the hp sprinkles it's just the, like just i don't know you don't really need a healer just because you already have the hp sprinkles the mp sprinkles then you have the life sprinkles then you uh, well life sprinkle you have the shield sprinkles you have the hyper sprinkles so it's just kind of like you don't really need a cleric that much so, because for me, I mostly have a team of, like, attacks, and then, like, a team of, like, a kind of... Well, I'll explain later, so, yeah. So, I would say not bad. Thief? I would say not bad, too. T to me, because to me, I, don't, I wouldn't say that any class is particularly bad. Um, well, there might be some classes that I put as bad, or maybe even dog water, 
But I would say each class ha comes with like its like uh, own merits, I guess. Heavens, uh, right way to use that, yeah. Thief, ah, uh, uh, the thief. Damage to all. Conceal items. That was really helpful sometimes. Like my thief one time, he uh, need healing or just anything really, and it just would take an MP candy or a banana. Uh, so yeah, I would say not bad. To me, okay, pop star to me. I would say a good. I think I would say a good. Because the pop star, I had the pop star on my team for a while, and the pop star did pretty good. I would say. I would um just let it do its thing. It would do damage to all, and then um I got and later on in the game when like I leveled up more, I got knocked down. It would sing sing like a little song, and most of the time I would get up, and it would go to all my team. So let's say the posture was by itself, and I had um no more life sprinkles. Done. It do that song. Okay, people get up. Get some HP sprinkles with them, put them in the safe spot, perfect, done, okay, good. So to me, I would say Popstar's pretty good. And um, I haven't seen it myself, because I've never played as a Popstar, like, I mostly watched AI. Like, for most of these, I s I've seen the AI for it, but um, the Popstar, its horse ability gives everyone hyper sprinkle, like, not hyper sprinkles, which is the hyper ability, which is really good. So I would say yes. Okay. Chef. To me... I'm gonna put it in meh. I don't know. I never really cared for it that much, I guess. I don't, just the chef, okay, yeah, he can cook up food and stuff like that. But I kind of prefer the scientist more, I think. But I'll explain later. Okay, so like I said, first impressions. I never got super far with the chef. So I don't know, because for me, the chef is kind of like a warrior. But it feels like a bit less damage. And then... It does some healing, but like to me, the cleric does better with the healing department. So I was like, I don't know. So I would just say the chef is a meh. Okay, cat. I would say a good or yes. I would. From what I've seen, I think a yes. First yes so far. Yeah, it is. It is pretty good because uh, the cat later on in the game especially it can just steal food so let's say you know there's like uh go for example goblin ham one star goblin ham two star goblin ham it could just go up to an enemy because like one time i was fighting um a boss battle and then the cat just went up and got a two star food and it's like that's really helpful and it does that almost every round so it's just kind of like what not every round like every battle like on different enemies so it's just really useful it, it doesn't always work though but when it does, it, it can be really helpful just to get a new food. And, yeah, sometimes the food has, like, really good effects. So, I would say, yeah. Oh, and um, scratch, double scratch, stuff like that. Like, sharpen. That's really good. Because one time my cat was sh uh, sharpening. And then I put, um, um what, hi not crazy sprinkles. Uh, hyper sprinkles on it. It did, like, 500 damage. I was like, oh, my gosh. And right after that, it did pincer with like everyone. Another like 450 damage, I think. It was really good, really good. Okay. Imp. Yes, I would say. I also really like the imp. I really like the imp. It was a really fun class to play with because at first it was just kind of like, at first it was kind of like, okay, not bad. Kind of like the warrior, tiny bit, just single damage. But then I got the first one where um, I do a big damage to someone. Okay, then I got the thing where it does damage to uh, people next to it. Okay, that's really helpful. And then it just got more and more, and it has so many abilities. And it's just so fun to play with, especially. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's good or bad, it's just really fun to play with. Like, I was like, okay, nice. And its abilities are like, you steal health, you steal their MP. Like, it's, it's like really helpful stuff. So I would say a yes tier. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I see some other people's reviews and not really review, but kind of tier lists. I would say good. I like the scientist because with the scientist, it's kind of it's like a, it's like to me it's the chef, but better. It's like it's like a healer, but more of an offensive healer because. Um, I remember one time my cat, I know I'm talking a lot about cat, but about, uh, talking a lot about cats, but one time my cat, so, um, 
I put hyper sprinkles on it, but then my uh, what's it called? Wait, my um, scientist put like the flame thing on the cat's claws. It didn't attack, and it did like a bunch of damage. And plus, I did damage to the um, enemies around of that enemy. It was so good. It was a lot of fun. The scientist has a black hole. It has you know cure. It has a uh, glitch. So it just has like some really good attacks, I would say. The healing is pretty good. And to me, I don't know, at least to me, the AI is not bad. It gets, I mean, sometimes it's like, oh, I really hope that you heal this other person, but then sometimes it heals itself. But for the most part, I would say it's pretty good. Tank. I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not bad. For now, I'm gonna put it not bad. Just cause, I don't know, to me, uh, the, the tank is like fun. But I don't know, it kind of felt like, for the part when I was playing it, it felt like a big friendship killer. Because there's one, because you can only hit one person at a time, and your attack costs MP, and you have like a not bad amount of MP. But still, I mean, I know it did like pretty good damage, but MP to do like an attack, at one point I ran out of sprinkles and I ran out of MP. Like, it, if that happens, like, you cannot do anything, because there's no way to recharge your MP, or... Not that I saw it. I mean, there might be like a thing later on, but I never got my tank to that high level level. So I would just say not bad. Princess, I don't know, meh. From what I've seen, uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, no, no. Actually, with the tank, when I said about friendship killer, there's an attack where you can attack, um, there's an attack where you can attack, uh, that's, weird. okay, there's, so there's an attack where you can attack um, almost every enemy. So basically, it's called loose cannon. So you just shoot, like, you spin around and shoot, and it has a chance of, you know, hitting every enemy and just hitting, like, more than one enemy. Problem is, there's also a chance to hit one of your teammates. So several times, I've hit a teammate and they got him mad at me. Then human cannonball does good damage. Problem is, you shoot your friend and they get mad at you. They get pissed. So I've started so many arguments. And I, I have, like, a lot of outing tickets. I have, like, over 100, like, I don't know, 130 or 50 or something. So I, it's not a problem. But still, just in general, it's, like... Cause some people don't have like a lot of outing tickets like at the beginning of the game. So it's kind of hard. You have to like wait for them to end the argument. So I was like, oh my gosh. Flower. I haven't seen too much of it. So I'm gonna put it in bad. But th this is the reason. So I'm gonna judge it a tiny bit on looks and a, a tiny, tiny bit from what I've seen. Cause I haven't seen too much of it. I just got a flower on my team and I haven't seen too much. And I kind of forgot about it when uh, thinking of this video idea. So, uh. Yeah, I would say, I don't know, because I haven't seen its abilities that much, but I will probably, I will most likely make another tier list, just to kind of be like, okay, after playing, because I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try 100% the game, because I've already played a lot of the game, and it's like, uh, why not? So, uh, hopefully, if I do 100% the game, or at least play more of the flower, I will see, because to me, it looks like its attack is bad, it looks like it. It looks like its health and defense is bad. Maybe the MP is good. I'm guessing it's like it heals well. So, you know, so I haven't played it. So, I'll put it actually in meh so far. Meh. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the princess. I don't know. To me, the princess, like, regal wave, stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, the damage isn't bad. But, like, to me, like, when I was in, what's it called? I had a princess on my team in, um... Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, Aaron Forest or whatever that that place, the Enchanted Forest place. I had I, I had um a princess there. Never really that helpful. Okay, it did damage, but its health it didn't feel that great, and its damage didn't feel that. Great. It was just kind of like, eh, I don't know. The regal dance and stuff like that. It's like, mm, I don't know. To me, just eh. So yeah, vampire. Put it in good. Put it in good. Not yes. But I'm putting it in good. Blah, 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 blah. Good. Because, see, I don't know. The vampire is kind of like the pop star. But, wait, worse. Just because the damage, it didn't feel like the damage was too good. Something I did like was that, you know, you could, like, take other enemies' health. So that was really good. And also, ooh, 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 something that I did really like was that, um, what's it called? Uh, when when someone did damage to you, they uh like let's say someone does a hundred damage to me, a vampire, um I do fifty damage to them because I do fifty percent of the damage that they did to me. 
So, for example, in the Snurp things, you know, like uh, the what's it called, the Snurp, the Snurp hunt in that like an end game, it was so useful because the Silver Snurps, for example, they would do some damage to me. They do 10 damage. Let's say that they do at least 10 damage. Since they have like five health, I do five damage to them, and I don't think it matters on their defense. I do five damage to them, and boom, they're dead. So that's really helpful because everyone else has one damage. So this five damage. And that's really helpful. Elf tier. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The elf tier. I'm here. The elf is so actually wait, 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 yeah, I like that, yeah. Elf tier is so good. I love the elf tier. Elf it elf tier, no. The elf is such a good character. It it's like a healer. It does to me. It does good damage. Its MP is amazing. I have really high MP now, and I was like, so I was like the lowest level on my team because like I started off, and the elf has helped me so many times because I can heal everyone. I can give myself MP, and it costs zero MP, obviously, so I can restore my MP. I do pretty good damage. Uh, what's it called? Restore my health. Um, dancing, oh, one time, I was fighting a boss, right? So, um, I, I forgot about Dancing Arrow the first round. Got, okay, the boss hit us once. Then, I put Dancing Arrow on it, dancing. N uh, so, it, the, the boss couldn't attack for that, for one turn. Put Dancing Arrow on it again, dancing harder. Still can't attack. So, it was in this loop where it just, it wasn't allowed to attack. It wasn't able to attack at all. So, it just kept dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing until we won the boss. What? That? Huh? No, nothing. It should be that easy. Why? That's, that's too easy. That's illegal, I think. So, thank you, Elf. So, now I'm going to put the... I would say them, like, kind of in order to me. So, for yes tier, uh, Elf first, Imp second, Cat third good tier i think i re i really like the pop star and the scientist then maybe the bat because the bat it was good in in the snare punt but i mean like after that like besides that i don't know it just the damage was never too good it did damage to all of them but like i don't know it had one ability where it did damage to all and i don't know maybe it did poison damage because it was like this poison attack but it didn't like I didn't see it do poison damage ever. It was just kind of like if the pop star had an attack where it didn't, where it did damage to everyone, but it already does damage to everyone. So it's like I don't know. Not bad, cleric. Actually, should I actually move? Hmm. <clears throat> no. Well, no. For it depends for what game. Cause for me, or not what game. Like what game, like what your game looks like. Cause for me, I had a bunch of HP sprinkles, so the cleric is not bad. I will put um you in front. Then probably I guess. Oh, oops. Then I guess you there, yeah. Meh. Uh, yeah, the chef first. Okay. This is basically what it would look like to me. Um, no one dog water or bad, but we'll see because I'll probably make another video just to kind of be like, okay, this is what I think of them all and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is my tier list. I feel like it went on a bit too long. I don't know. I might try and make it faster. Next time, if I do do another one, if I do do another one, okay. So yeah, peace out, sussy bakas, and don't forget and don't fret. Watch too cool for school. Um, class dismissed. Yeah.